The important buildings in which you can perform actions can be found at the marketplace in the center of the city. At the start of play, your convoy lies at anchor in the port of Lübeck. Click on it to select it. Alternatively, you can click the Convoy button. Your convoy's properties are now shown on the right. The convoy consists of a single ship and has no goods on board. Now that the convoy is selected, we will make our first trade. Click on the market hall or a port crane in order to open the trade window. Here you can trade between Lübeck and your convoy. Let us look at the commodity salt. The amount Lübeck currently has is shown in the third column. Next to it is the price. The stock bar shows us how well the city's needs are met. At the beginning, the one thing you should remember is this. Buy only when the stock shows two bars. Inasmuch as salt is produced in Lübeck, which you can see from the tiny sprocket, both supply and price are good. To buy a particular commodity, click on the price. Then move the bar to the right to select the number of goods. The more goods you buy, the more expensive each commodity becomes, as the price depends on supply and demand. So when the supply drops, the price rises. In this example, I will buy 100 barrels of salt the goods are not purchased until I let go of the mouse button. Now I would like to sell the salt in a city where it is not produced. I close the trade window and click on the button that lets me leave the city. The chart is displayed and the convoy is still selected. I now send it off to Aalborg as meat is produced there and preserved with salt. For of course there are no refrigerators. Use the space bar to speed up the flow of time. As soon as my convoy has arrived, I can enter the city. To do so, I just click on the city. Now I open the trade window again. Luckily, salt is in short supply in Aalborg. The price is much higher than the one I paid. To sell my goods, I once again click on the price and then push the slider to the left before letting go of the mouse button. Two more things. Only sell when the stock has no bars. Also, every building where actions can be performed has an info icon. Move the mouse over it for tips and information.